Hey guys, so I may or may not have gotten a very strong urge to silk press this hair. I really, I truly just wanted to see how long it was. I wanted to see what it was giving. I definitely throughout this experience, I realized that I do want to go to a professional salon and have them do my hair so that they can trim it. But yeah, your girl was, she was curious. So I'm starting off just by blow drying my hair and I'm using this Miel heat protectant spray and then this chai silk infusion which leaves my hair really soft and shiny and this was like 2 a.m. 3 a.m. I'm not gonna lie y'all I was a little delusional just kind of going for it so I didn't go out to buy any new products I just kind of used what I had but I'm just going through and blow drying you guys know I love my my blow dryer my pride and joy um, and then yeah this is my hair all blow dried out and the next process was the straightening part which I was so nervous about I don't know why I was so nervous because I haven't done this y'all it has been years literal years since I have straightened my hair at all ever so I was nervous and okay I don't mind this part so as you can see the heat setting was definitely way too high we're just gonna call this we'll call this a Dominican blowout Dominican blowout that's what this is giving but I'm just going through and straightening my hair. I did, on a real note, I turned down the heat a little bit um, later in the video. <laughs> but this is what the hair was giving and I just worked layer by layer. And I honestly, I didn't know what I was expecting. Um, first of all, I love the color when it straightened out. This is my first time really seeing it straight with this color in my hair. And as you can see, the roots, my roots are growing back in strong. That's my natural hair color. I was just excited because I really wasn't sure what it was going to give. I definitely, this is my Revlon straightener, so it's not nothing too special. So I definitely think with a better straightener, I could have gotten it a little bit more. As you can see, it's giving a little stiff, a little stiff, but I was really excited about the color and just how it looks straight. I was really happy with it. Working in smaller sections also, my sections were a little bit chunky. I was in a little bit of a rush. Not a rush, but I just wasn't taking my time. I didn't really plan this out too much. But yeah, if I had definitely taken smaller sections, then I think I could have gotten a little bit more of a silky finish. I'm sure, like I said, if I went to a salon, it could give me that move, that, that bounce with it, that bob bounce. <laughs> Okay, so once I had it straightened, and this was a straight look, I didn't want to put too much heat on my hair. I'm not going to lie, y'all. I was a little nervous about even putting this on it. I just don't want to put too much on it, especially while it's this color. But yeah, I did something next that I thought I was never going to do, which is I gave myself the bump you know the bump that we talk about back in the day that the hairdressers used to do now like the bump is my friend because as you can see I do need a trim but the bump kind of conceals it and gave me a little bit more um body I feel like but I just found that funny I was like look at me coming full circle full circle